Hi guys and dolls, Kevin back with you. Well, I'm dressed down today to do a little bit of yard work. But as you can see, we got water on the ground from the rains above. So we've got a delay. Gives us a chance to rectify an issue with the mower. This is Mancard Theater. As I said, we've got a rain delay, so it's time to get a little something done with the mower. The last time I was mowing, I've got this Deer X350, and I nudged the fence a little bit, and as a result, heard a big crack. And we had some uh, splittage right here. I'll get a close-up of it in a minute. And on the inside, we have a, a broken little piece of plastic. So before we go any further, I don't want to make this any worse. So we ordered us a brush guard. As I mentioned, we got a crack on the outside. Not here, not up here, but mm, somewhere in this general vicinity right here. And then if we take a step back and we look inside, get my finger out of the way right there we broke that tab and the last thing I want to do I don't mind it getting dirty dirty means you used it but I want to make sure that I don't break it anymore so we got on the the Amazon site and from the Amazon we got this box in the mail Amazon isn't that where Wonder Woman's from? Let's open it up and take a look. A closer look says it was made in China. So, maybe not quite from where Wonder Woman's at, but I took it out of the box, and it is dry and in bubble wrap. All the tears of the little children that welded it up have dried, and let's unpackage it and see how hard it is to get it put on. Well, I'm glad I is smart because uh, no instructions came with this, but it looks like all the hardware is there. Got some uh, bushings, some bolts, and then uh, this pass-through pin with some uh, cotter pins on the ends. So uh, let me put down this phone and, and get to work, get my big belly on this concrete. A quick look. On the front here it appears these front two big holes are going to marry up with those bottom two holes or I guess as I'm holding the camera upside down the top two holes and God bless the Chinese they used half inch bolts so let's get started okay I think the easiest way to do this Gosh darn bells. No manners. Anyway, I think the easiest way to do this is to put through the long bar and that will hold it in place while I have a chance to put the bolts through. So let me finagle this around, switch hands. Put this up. Okay, we got it through going. This isn't that difficult. Insert your own guy's joke here. Trying to hit the hole. There we go. And it's all the way through. And we'll get the pin on the other side. Scoot over. 
put it through and there we go we've got it on and I would imagine when we go to open the top depending on how the rest of this comes about um, we either need to pull this pin back out to open the the top or the bonnet as they say across the pond or we have to remove the bolts I'm gonna guess since these just have cotter pins on them apparently if you need to open this up you would just pull this pin and this whole thing would come down real quick before I get too far ahead of myself the bolts have this little bushing and I'm going to guess that's to keep this centered on here. And so we're going to squeeze this in there uh, to help secure it. I've already got it on this side, so I have a limit to how far over this way. So this side, I think we're going to have to do a little, little, uh, little persuasion. There we go. So we have it in both sides. Gosh, who cleans this thing? Now, as you can see, that bushing is already in there. So now I think it's just a matter of putting in the half inch bolts. All right, guys, we got the other side already in and like a fool, I sat right in the in the water so we're gonna have to make this video short or else I'm gonna get the diaper rash so it was simple though simply put in that half inch bolt and actually there's interference on the back side so I don't even really have to hold it hold the nut to uh, to get it started and you all remember this little cheapy and oh made a liar out of me there we go she's on there she's on there tight taut one might say so I think all in all I think this mission is complete. Well, there you go. She's on there. She's got a little bit of give, but uh, I don't think you want this thing rock solid. Um, the give is all down in the, the long pin. And yes, that's what you pull to open up the hood here. So honestly, very, very simple. It uh, took longer to move the camera around than it did to, to actually put this thing on there. Uh, I went the Amazon route. If you go to the John Deere store, uh, you're going to pay an arm and a leg. So uh, this, I think this looks pretty good. It's powder coated. It's uh, strong. Uh, I'm happy with it. So I'm ready to go run into stuff. So. Until next time, and I promise you, there will be more videos coming out shortly. But until next time, don't forget to keep your man card punched. Now I got to go get out of these wet pants.